Hey, what is up YouTube? Demon Sparks here, and I wanted to make this little follow-up video on the EZIP scooter. This is the EZIP 400, and I've done many, many different kinds of repairs and work on this scooter. And this is mostly just a general overview video. I'm going to show off uh, the piece that I had replaced. It is underneath here. So here is the pin underneath there. Right there sticking out. The other two edges of it right there. So that's what I had to do to fix the uh, drive gear uh, sprocket. And it's also along my uh, upgrading and switching things out. I found this little cap inside of an old computer and it's uh, from a Molex. So it fits on here perfectly for my charger port and keeps the uh, terminals on the inside. If I'm getting any uh, water or dirt or anything like that junked up inside of it. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll be doing more videos of it soon after doing the battery upgrade and overvolting. And I'll be having some test videos of it up shortly once I uh, get that done. I already have all the wiring uh, ran inside the uh, battery housing. I have my 8 gauge with the uh, alligator clip leads at the end for this one. This is a temporary ground wire. It should be able to suffice, but I may change it out if I can find another 8 gauge. I did have a ground 8 gauge like this, but I don't know where it is um, at the moment. But I'll probably be switching that out if this uh, wire starts heating up or any of the issues like that. It's quite tiny. I think it's a uh, 14 or a 16 gauge. I'm not too sure. But it's actually pretty thick. So, here's that wire. It's a speaker wire, I think it was. It's a heavier gauge. So yeah, and there's the uh, battery basket. So I put my uh, square battery in, my 12 volt, 8.5 amp hour. And I hook up the terminals in the back. And that's pretty much it. This is only temporary. I'll, I'll wind up probably eventually building a battery box. It'll go up and then over, so it'll completely enclose the battery. Keep it out of the elements. But that's just the general testing uh, kind of thing for it. But I'll probably be using this as a base uh, to actually hold the battery and just cover it up with something I'll build over it. Uh, something like that along those lines. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and do stay tuned for all the updates. And make sure to subscribe and like if you liked. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. And uh, thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it.